everyone, it's Kimberly. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about having your needs met and trusting in the Lord and reaching your breakthroughs. Okay, I know a lot of you have some financial needs or specific uh, prayer requests. Maybe you have health issues. Well, I'm going to work with you today on receiving your breakthrough. I have read multiple books, and um, including some books from Norval Hayes. He's had uh, the gift of, um, he's been very blessed financially, okay? And uh, I'm also going to be discussing Rita Bowers, Give Me 40 Days. She's had tremendous results in her ministry as well with having breakthroughs and needs being met. And um, also, just I'll, I'll just kind of touch on a few things, but make, basically what I want you to do is, if you're willing, do this experiment with me, and I know that you will receive your breakthrough, okay? First of all, um, just gathering all the information over the years, um, what we're going to do is, instead of asking the Lord specifically for our needs to be met, number one, what I would like you to do this week is pray for others, okay? We're not going to pray so much for our needs, because remember, the Lord already knows our needs. So, we're going to be extremely unselfish this week or this month, and we're going to pray for others' needs. We're going to just totally spend all of our time asking the Lord to meet specific needs for other people. Um, also, whatever it is that you need in your life, let's say you have a financial need, you're going to go bless someone else in the area that they need. So you're going to plant seeds, okay? Because when you're planting seeds, you're going to receive a harvest of this, okay? Now, you're also going to, um, like Norma Hayes likes to say, it's very important that we speak out what we want to happen. Okay? Because remember, you have power and authority. Like Luke 10:19 says in the Bible, if you'll go ahead and read it and get that saturated in soul, your soul, you have power and authority in the words you speak. So you're going to bind and loose things from heaven. Okay? You're going to claim to those mountains, whatever they are, the whatever is hindering. Uh, whatever it is that you need or what's in your way, you're going to go and say, I command that mountain, whatever that mountain it is, to move out of my way in Jesus' name. You're going to say, thank you, Lord, for releasing the funds to me that I need or to my friend, okay? So you're going to bind and loosen and use the power that the Lord has given you. Okay, you're also going to do work for the Lord. You're going to go hand out tracts. You can get some free tracts right online and start talking about the Lord and spreading the word of the Lord because that's part of, you know, what the Lord expects from us. Okay, so what you want to do is you're going to make something happen for someone else of what you want to happen to you. But mostly, I want you to delight in the Lord this month. Delight in the Lord. You're just going to praise Him and delight in Him and watch if He does not give you the desires of your heart. Okay? And so, also, what's been important is you must repent. Make sure that you are not harboring, harboring any bitterness in your heart. Walk in complete forgiveness and pray for others and help others. And you watch and see your mountains move out of the way. But you must confess these things with your mouth. Speak faith. Okay? And let me know what happens. And if you have a chance, order this book um, online. It's called Give Me 40 Days. It's by Frida Bowers. And um, she has a method in which um, I think she's excellent. This is an excellent book. The, the, the title sounds kind of boring, but it's just so filled with wisdom and information. This book will uh, help you. Um, well, I don't want to say that this would work for everybody, but it just shows how your relationship with God and uh, will help you if you do all these things. You should have an answer within 40 days or a response from the Lord or a breakthrough from the Lord within this time period. And so that's a good book. And also I would also recommend um, these books by uh, Norval Hayes. Let's just start off with this one today. Confession brings possession, and this is about speaking out what you want to happen to you in faith, okay, and trusting the Lord. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you have a great week, and I can't wait to hear what your praise report is.